What's going on, everybody? It's your boy AC. <clears throat> Back with another vid. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to say a few things. Um, first off, uh, big up to the uh, Leo, San Leo Santa Cruz, Abner Mares fight. Um, I think I think that fight ended up being one of the fights of the year. Um, it's a, a, a lot of cats through leather in that joint, man. Leo Santa Cruz and Abner Mares got it in. Um, I think, I, you know, Leo Santa Cruz, he definitely did his thing. Um, you know, what's next? What's next for Santa Cruz should be a Carl Frampton fight. You know, so I know good and well he they not fighting. He not fighting Reagandale no time soon. They, they, that, that's just something that ain't gonna happen. Um, but I kind of, but I, I kind of wanted to, uh, to holler at, uh, to, what, to talk about Andre Ward for a second. Um, to me, he's still number two pound for pound fighter in the world, you know. But a lot of people don't want him on the list, you know. It is what it is, but, um. I know for a fact, I, I know that if I'm Andre Ward, because what I'm hearing, I'm still hearing that, that there's a strong rumor that he could be on the Cotto and Canelo undercard. And, and I hope that's true. I, I hope that he's on the Canelo Cotto undercard, Andre Ward is. Um, if, if he does, it's probably not going to be... What can I say? You know, it, it's probably going to be another, another tune-up fight. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. I, I don't know if it's true or not, though. But if, but if Andre Ward does fight, okay. excuse me, man. Excuse me. Crazy. It's been crazy this weekend. But if Andre Ward, you know, was to fight, it'll probably be another journeyman bum fighter. Which you know, one one tune up is one thing, but two straight, I don't know. But it is what it is. Um, but I have the perfect plan for Andre Ward, though. I have the perfect plan for Andre Ward. Um, I think I think that the after this fight, you know, and like in 2016, Ward should definitely fight two or three times. I personally think. That Andre Ward should actually get the winner of the Badu Jack versus George Groves winner. Now, if y'all don't know, you know Badu Jack and George Groves are going to be fighting on Floyd Mayweather's undercard uh, when he faces Berto on September 12th. I think that fight. Uh, I think. Um, I think he should get the winner. Andre Ward should. Um, Badu Jack is a is the WBC champion at 168. And I'm pretty sure it's a title fight. Um, George Groves versus Badu Jack is a title fight. So I think Ward should definitely gun for the winner of that fight. Get another get another championship. He's already the lineal champ. You know, he just I say just go ahead and get another one. Then after that, fight uh James DeGale. You know, later um later on that year, fight James DeGale. I think that will be I think that will be the the best fight to be made at 168 would be James DeGale versus um Andre Ward. Um, should he be James DeGale and should he be uh the winner of the Bad New Jack George Groves fight? I personally think he should go go and move up to 175. Go ahead and go up to 175. Either take on Kovalev or take a Jean, or take on Jean Pascal. Or or Stevenson. One of the three. But with emphasis on Kovalev and, Pes and Pascal. And Jean Pascal. I think fighting those three fights. I think fighting those three fights in succession like that would probably make Andre Ward the number uh 
Sharks, you could make him the number one pound for pound fighter. If you want to, if you really want to be honest with it, I think you could make him like that. Uh, man, I'm tired. Sharks. But yeah. I think I think that'll be the perfect game plan for Andre Ward, man. That'll be that'll be the perfect game plan for Andre Ward. Um I haven't checked Ring Magazine and I haven't checked um the um the transitional boxing rankings. I haven't checked none of those yet. I wanna check I, they still but well, a transitional boxing ranking ranking site, um they still got they still got Ward as the lineal champion at um at one sixty eight. Um I believe Ward is still the man in, in on court in the ring magazine. He's just not on the pound for pound list. At least I don't think. Um, but I think, yeah, I think those, I think those three fights. I think the win of Jack and Groves, which I really have to do an interview on, a I, 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 I prediction on, because I, I bad do Jack and George Groves is a very intriguing fight to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, that is. I'm, 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 I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a, a prediction on that. Um, James DeGill, and should he win, he should not just go on up there and fight Kovalev, man. You know, though I think those three fight, or either Kovalev or Pascal, preferably both of them. You know, at different times. But I personally think that uh, if he if he does that. I think Ward would be the number one pound for pound fighter in a, you know in, in the world. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Should Andre Ward go? Should Andre Ward go that route um, to establish himself atop the box, the top boxing's pecking order? Um, as always, man, y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. Again, tell me what y'all think about it. Until the next time, it's your boy Twan, AC, I'm out, B.